You wanna jump in from this one, please? I'll do the live here for about one thirty minutes, the most twenty to thirty minutes. So I'm not gonna wait for anything for crowd. I'm just a so me have to say so I can leave it up. So whoever want to comment or whoever want to say what them have say, you can go into the comment section. If you don't want to share it, you can share it. But as I say, I'm not gonna be live for long because I'm busy right now. You understand? So yeah, I haven't been going live for a while now because I've got to be running up and down. It's it's gotten much much harder for me to earn a living here so i don't really have any free time i've got to be like uh, on the go yeah doing what we need to do so we can pay with bills them and feed with picking in it and so that jps won't climb the roof and water commission won't come in my yard come cut off my water now somebody message me dm me today and say something to me about if me watch the, the last syrupy um something when put up on youtube i'm gonna say no send me the link then the person proceeded to speak about um music influencing crime and violence and me and the person got in a discussion and thing and then when me say the person really and truly never got change and now nah, i just say you know what dead that conversation this no need for going further this really and truly doesn't need to go any further me watch the interview are are the, the podcast sir peace podcast i'm just we just finished we literally just finished watching it from start to end we basically started off by addressing damien crawford's interview on stage that he did with winford williams and he basically stated that music music really and truly the influence that music has on crime and violence is not something of merit or not something that the government needs to play place any real real attention to which i honestly believe as well he damien crawford did not say in the interview because i watched the interview as well he did not at any point says said that music had no influence or zero influence on crime or on society or on or, or he didn't say that music didn't have a negative influence any at all on society he did say, state that but he didn't dwell on that you understand he didn't dwell on that and he didn't reiterate that and use that as the basis of his entire consensus that he was trying to put out there that wasn't the basis of the argument he just basically stated that there are much more important things or there are much more viable things that the government could undertake to curb or to stem crime and violence than to place an attack on our music and culture you understand now serpy used a very 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 key phrase our proponent in his argument where he accused damian crawford of creating a straw man for those who don't know don't, don't know what a straw man is i i ask you now to google it or after we finish this conversation to go and google it and figure out what is a straw man what is the straw man premise the straw man premise is this if somebody is trying to make a point to you you create an alternate point to distract the person from the original point that they are trying to make so if somebody is coming to you and saying boy you're not supposed to eat pork pork no good for you don't eat pork and then the person say but beef no good for you so why you eat beef that is a straw man because that is not addressing the fact that you shouldn't eat pork or not, not addressing the argument why you should not eat pork that is saying you're not supposed to eat that too or you eat that so don't tell me but you understand me i say so it's like difference or deflection that is what him accused damian crawford of now in no point in time in the inter interview did damian crawford deflect from the argument that was at hand he basically he kept on track and he laid out his point he laid out poignant points research based fact based arguments and why the influence of music on our culture or on crime and violence is inconsequential and not something that is of such a vast magnitude that the government should waste resources with a time or money on regulating it 
because it's a waste there is much more important things that the government could be doing and much more impactful things that the government could be doing with the already limited resources that they do have instead of wasting it on regulating music or regulating people's art that they might put out there now see now when i'm gonna come because there's a lot of things that a lot of articles i don't subscribe to the sir p gentleman i don't subscribe to him but there's a lot of articles that people are a lot of podcasts that people have put up on excerpts from podcasts that he has done that people have shared with me and i have agreed with him totally and wholeheartedly i have agreed with him this is the first time i am watching anything with, with this gentleman that i honestly think is garbage that i honestly think is garbage and i'm telling you something people there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with you agreeing with somebody in parts and disagreeing with them in parts the fact that i disagree with him now on this part will this stop me from listening to whatever content people send to me no it will not i will still listen to his content because whether or not you agree with somebody or disagree with somebody you should always listen with an open mind because sometimes the things that people bring up or the points that they bring up sometimes it puts you in a situation where you yourself really and truly never look on it from the perspective there sometimes other people's perspective especially somebody who is not in agreement with you sometimes their perspective opens your eyes and opens your mind to a total different perspective you understand no yeah no when we said so boom when we said so boom now we look on the whole premise here remember say me don't go and do one live about this and one bag or something enough people cuss me and say me ignorant and my dad come a fool fool and i chew me i earn from it that's why i say so i earn from dance hall but one thing i agree with sir p that not all dance hall is violent you have bad man music gunman music gun song and them things they were different from whining music broke out song um love song because dance hall have love love song too dance hall have feel good song dance hall have inspirational songs and all them something so you have all the different facets of dance hall the facet of dance hall that is most common that is most pointed at are the one that is most dragged through the dirt is the gunman song them or the bad man song them now what Damien Crawford brought up, and this is several several studies did this for in Sweden, in France, in Indonesia, in America, in Australia, Europe, a whole heap of different studies that came up came about that proved proved that violent music doesn't cause cause somebody that is non-violent to become violent. You understand? If somebody already has violent ideations or violent tendencies, yes. The violent sounds might provoke some level of violence in the person. That is the extent of the of, of the influence that it does have on the violence in our culture, violence in our society. People who have the vi have the predisposition to be violent will act on said violence because of external stimuluses, i.e., the music that is propagating or, pro or propagating the violence or the violent acts. No. When somebody is going to, we we are people like myself here. Yeah. I come in our course and say me sensible and them not sensible. But people like myself here yeah. and Damian Crawford, which we share, share something in common, is that I do appreciate a good gun song. I do appreciate a good bad man song. When me hear the song say, um, Cartel running, bad man running, I always start killing man. The, the, the song, the same song, but you could have gone in the church. Hoy! Um, the, the popcorn, popcorn massacre, and um, Tamil song that, that song that bad. If you listen to that song, that, like liter, like the, the, lit, the literal skills in uh, liter, literary skills in uh, the song are are superb. You understand me? I said when you listen to the song, like how the play and words, the way them kind of phrases, the way them put the, the musicality ability. You have to look at that. That is art. Yes, it's violent. It's a very violent song. Yes, it's a very taboo song yeah but yeah if you appreciate it for what it is the art that it is it's a it's a wonderful song well put together song you understand me i say and you have to remember this art is is not for, art for everybody you have some people have a look on a painting of the mona lisa and say it is garbage it is garbage but yet still it's the most popular painting in the world you understand somebody will look on a van Gogh and say oh it's a picnic artist but yet still as some of the most valuable works of art in the world because art is subjective and music is art and it's subjective 
it's not for everybody. Every piece of art is not going to be for everybody. And not because you find it obscene or you find it offensive or you don't understand it. And you hear a man sing a song and when you hear a man sing a song, it provokes you in a way where you say, Jesus Christ, how oh, the man for you sing about that? And you think about it literary, literally. As in say, oh, Oh my God, he's speaking about a criminal act or he's singing about a criminal or he's glorifying criminality. It's not glorifying criminality. You understand? This is his art. This is his way of expressing himself. You can always say, why him not express himself in another way? No, you, that, is, that is censorship. That is censorship. That is you telling somebody how to express themselves. And I don't think that we want to go down that slope. I don't think that that is something that we, we want to do. If we, if we start censoring dance hall, we have to go start censor pastors. We're going to have to start censoring teachers. We're going to have to start censoring the people who paint them, 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 them. Certain colors are going to be seen as erotic. We're going to say, okay, the color red cannot be used on any posters because red is the color of blood. Once we go down the slope of censorship, you don't know where it might lead to or where it might lie. You understand? So, when somebody... What's your take from listening to a song? I listen to a song for escape. For escape from reality. Music is something that is supposed to soothe your soul. Or to, not even just to soothe your soul. Something to evoke emotions. You understand me? I said that is what music is for. Music transports you to somewhere. I can meet eyes. May I go tell you this? There are times... I got a wedding. I am going to weddings to work at a wedding. What do you wait? What do you mean? Oh, what do you to do a wedding? I'm gonna on the tool. I'm here listen. Me I listen some blowout trap music. Some trap music. Me I me I listen. Best to make her dance and them something. Yeah, one bag of sitting about junk and drug and and and. I'm in love with the coco pop the Mali I'm sweet. I mean, I sing them out word for word and I enjoy the trap music and I say yes, bombard music hit me, box me down when it hit me. No feel, no farm and pain. But I don't smoke marijuana. I don't even smoke cigarette. I don't smoke any at all. I have no intention of smoking anything. Not even, not even hookah. Me no smoke. Not at all. Me no farm. No farm. I smoke. No farm. I drugs. No farm. I foreign objects. Me no ingest in my body. The only thing when me in, indulge in are food. You understand? Me not nothing. We got give give me any farm of euphoric or any of them farm of chemically enhanced experience i do not indulge in that but my love trap music is trap music going to influence me influence me to want to take a percocet or for papa molly no no but the music is there and i do enjoy the music and i do appreciate the music and i do find the music good and enjoyable and entertaining but Will I take drugs because this music is singing about taking drugs and being graphic in how they get the drugs and to cut the drugs, cook the drugs and all them someday? No, I am not. I am not. I most definitely am not. But that not stop me from enjoying the music. It's the same thing with dancehall. I hear one heap of song and I love me, love me, me, me not go tell a lie. Me love the whining song them. Me love girl song, but me love gunman song. Me love badman song because them nice. Them nice. Um, alkaline. Boy, I can't call Cree. Them sang there. Them sang there. Bad. Love them sang there. Love the song them we sing about violence. I love them. I really appreciate them. Because them said some make you get a, for a second, you take on a bad, bad man persona. You understand something that you know that you are not. I am not a violent person by nature. I am by far not a I'm, I'm the most least violent person you'd ever meet if i am not very if i'm not provoked to wrath or anger you will not see any form of aggression out of me whatsoever you understand me i said but i like the aggressive type of music because it sets and it gives me a release it gives me a, a sense a sense of we call it now Euphoria, listening to this music. Some farmer enjoying my pleasure neurons. Them get awakened and in, 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 enhanced and enticed. You understand me, I say? Because music is an escape from reality. When the music turn off, I'm reach up and I go and come out and I put on my shirt and button up. I take up a microphone and I go back to old, happy, go lucky, master of ceremony and speaking affluently and speaking intelligently and articulating myself well and getting people giving jokes and being comedic but when i'm in my vehicle driving and i choose to listen to the music telling me 
to go bury a man around one part or one place and so I sing it out at the top of my lungs and ball it out. Does that make me a violent person? Hmm? Does that make me a violent person? Zin? Does that make me a violent person? Does me listening to these songs and enjoying these songs make me a violent person? Now a lot of persons are going to say, Oh, Triplex, you cannot speak for yourself. Speak for the everyday youth in society. The everyday youth in society will sing about violence. But is the everyday youth in society violent? No, he's not. If we are going to be honest with ourselves, you can see it's that there is a microcosm of persons in our society that are a very very small microcosm of persons in our society that are perpetrating are perpetuating these violent acts you understand the amount of criminals is a little bit of people in our country are do them criminal acts okay, a handful of people are the criminal acts you understand me i say the majority of people in our society are not violent by nature the majority of jamaican young men want better for themselves them want affluence most man in a Jamaica, most young man in a Jamaica. Their ultimate motivation is pum pum. Vagina is their ultimate motivation, not even money. Their ultimate motivation is vagina. From them have pum pum, them are right. From them have a means to get pum pum, them is all right. And this is going to be being blatantly honest. I am sorry if this is offensive to somebody who is listening to this, but the facts are the facts. You understand? The facts are just the facts. Somebody, Virgo said, practice what you preach. Don't agree with you, bro. So, well, I understand say, everybody now going to agree with me still. But I honestly believe that is only a small amount of persons in Jamaica are, are criminals. I don't believe that. If you honestly believe, say, the majority of Jamaicans are criminals, or the majority of the young men in Jamaica are criminals, you better we just drop a bomb on Jamaica and kill off everybody. Because if the majority are bad, it don't make no sense to try to save the country then. The country now not save or save then. If the majority of we, if... 55% we could put it as, as uh, even if 51% of Jamaica is violent if 51 somebody says scroll up we now have on the glasses no people okay time to be honest many are unable to to suspend their disbelief and say the art is separate from the artist. This is all before the artist themselves promote as this is there. Yeah, because, because, all right. All right, let me tell you this. Zin? Excuse me. Excuse me. This is how we need to understand. You see, the artist, them, they might play a role. They may play a role. And the role where they may play is that of the bad man artist. And the role as a bad man artist, you have to basically act like you walk the walk and talk the talk and them something. You understand? Forget your following. You understand me? I say, a lot of people who follow these people and idolize these people, they don't want to live the life that these people live. Genuinely, they don't want to live the life that these people live. Zin, are you from an inner city community? I am from a rural inner city. I am from Banbury district, Victoria, which is rural, but it's still a ghetto. You understand? That's where I'm born and grow. You understand? I live in Kingston, but I spend the majority of my time in inner city communities. The majority of my time is spent in inner city communities. Majority of my friends and associates live in the inner city. You understand me? I said, this is where I apply my trade this is where i spend my free time this is where i go you understand i i rub shoulders i have rubbed shoulders with the criminal element i have rubbed shoulders with persons the majority of where i rub shoulders with in these communities are people who are well thinking people even though sometimes let me tell you something the problem with a lot of us is that once we see somebody sit down on a corner or a roadside we automatically demonize them and look at them as criminals. There are a lot of progressive people who actually do, young men who actually do sit on roadsides or sit on corners and all our reason because this is a communal space. Same so like a man going to a bar, go sit down and have a drink or a smoke or whatever. It's the same way 
a man and him bridging them lift on the lane and him bridging them lift on the next lane and them come and the corner yard the ends with them sit down and them drink after whatever them do during the day you understand after them days work after before them go work or whatever or before them even play them trade and them yard them sit down and all and them relaxation and them chill spot that you understand not because somebody sit on the roadside shirtless in our one cut off foot jeans pants or one mesh marina or one old clocks where the back broke down on them something there with a spliff in their mouth that automatically doesn't mean that he's a criminal before marijuana was decriminalized we associate everybody we associated everybody who smoked marijuana as being a criminal which even in those times doctors lawyers teachers preachers nurses everybody was smoking ganja but once we see somebody with a spliff or with marijuana we not we, we used to automatically think of that person as a criminal even in today's society there are a lot of persons who see somebody with ganja and think that they are criminals you understand it's much more you know once by limited resources push individuals to make poor choices that affects somebody okay okay as somebody said economics economics is the one of the leading fa driving factors in criminality a lack of resources lack of opportunities drives criminality more than music by far you understand if somebody in a them good good job and somebody is fully educated and somebody has job opportunities there's nothing that a musician can tell him to get him to go and rob somebody or to kill somebody nothing at all if you have something to lose when you have nothing at all to lose and your back against the back is against the wall and this is not me trying to trying to um justify criminality this is me trying to show you the cause or the root of criminality the root of criminality is poverty that is the root of criminality the root of violence is poverty me not talk about white color crime and them something me not talk about criminality see there's nobody who is going to be of affluent nature i go run and grab somebody bag and run with it i go juke somebody with a gun and take with them cell phone nobody of any form of affluent living is going to do that you understand me i say no one whatsoever rich people uh, we are who are these rich people because some one has liabilities done not do, does not make them rich and even still those resources in a ghetto are not spread out amongst people that is true you understand me i say so i don't want to know if you believe say believe because this is what i'm telling you now how our politicians in our society our politicians have drawn the wool over our eyes you understand me i say somebody say wrong no triple okay how our politicians have drawn the wool over our eyes and divided us and are proceeding to conquer us conquer our men our minds by telling us that them over there so are them are cause the problem them over there so are cause the problem them around there so are cause the problem and the politician them now look upon themselves who are the root of all of the problems them who have in the country them eat them, them them are the masters of projecting a negative image or a neg negative rational onto other people to, to distract you from looking to them for the truth. Kabanga General, let me add you to this here because you keep on saying no, no, no. Go live with Kabanga General. Accept the Kabanga General, I don't send me a request for, for, for join the live, please. Zin. Sure. <laughs> Tip, go on? <laughs> Big up my general, what are going on? There enough for more, you see me? Yeah, where are you saying no, my G? I said no, 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 what that? Yeah, man, for a big man level still with that talk about the music, you see me, I said triple? Yeah. I mean, I sure said the music is a big factor in a triple. Ah, that but... That ear go on, you see, me and you, you know, my ear the music are singing, you know, and it, 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 you know, you know, mean nothing to us, you know, because we grew up with certain values, you know, Mm -hmm. We yeah. have some road where them practice where some man preach, people mm -hmm. lead them. Same like you, you know. You are a role model in a triple. Mm. And you have some youth believe in a triple in a brother. Anything yeah. triple say in a brother can wrong for him, you know. Mm. You see me I say? 
So you see we as a man that listen to all bunty them and some man and say, oh, them and me God in a brother. You see anything them and they say, brother, all six them. When you hear six them DJ, some man say, oh, them are six. So you hear about this bus out there and this way, it come like the norm to the youth them right now, or the generation where I come next in a triple and me and you, you know. Wait, you see, the first statement where you say was that man like me and you grow with certain morals yeah. and certain mores. Well, we know, say, we know for do certain and certain things, correct? Yeah, yeah, true. So, me and you knowing... True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Me and, you know, me, me, me and you knowing what is right, wh where that come from? From what? What is what is right? From what is wrong? Yeah, where that come from? Yeah, well, we will start by our parents. You see me? All right. From from we learning to decipher right from wrong. That means say uh, we already have the innate ability to decipher right from wrong. Correct? Yeah, true. And that means say uh, we we we. we we no have that level of criminal responsibility in our way, then correct? Yeah, that's true. So, so what wrong with where the man said when the man said music influence people who have the pre existing factors to contribute to criminality? That is where the influence comes comes in. If you are well thinking or you are well minded. You're not, you're not going to be influenced by criminality. By, by yeah, that's true. Zin, so the, yeah, the that's problem is we not, me... we not, we not, we not say music don't influence none at all. You know? that's, we're not, that's not what we're saying. You know? Because to say that is would be to create the so-called straw man or this man you try to say, my create. Zin, if yeah. you do not have the predisposition to do these criminal acts, there is no way that music can influence you to do that. You understand me? I say? So these people yeah, who well, music well, can influence are the people who them school don't feel them, them yard don't feel them, society don't feel them, and then who left, who left now? Them are set and look for entertainment for uh, for to guide them to where they them supposed to go, which is not, you know, cannot look for entertainment for guide you. You cannot look for, you cannot leave the burden of curing society from entertainment. That is not what entertainment, the purpose of entertainment for. Entertainment is supposed to be an escape from reality. Yeah, so but if we well, well, society, well, when, Yeah. yeah well, I know, when we look at it in general, because you know, me and you have youth, see? We have we kids them, see? And yeah. often we kids them step out of line, see? Mm -hmm. We have to continuously continuously I guide them even though we tell them already you know and we, we them know where we yeah. stand for in a triple we still have to yeah. behind them 27 I say listen because listen you see you see influences brother influences are as a elevating when me I grew up in a in a get in a triple me I tell you you know it all come down to you as an individual in a bridging you see if you don't stand up channel that's why enough of them you to know I get lead us and I do some things you know because them have some man I say I then done and then God, and then General, and then this. You see me? And then can't think for themselves, triple. Oh, a man for God, don't do a man something and go do harm to somebody. Or want do harm to somebody and come to me and I tell me if you go follow him, if you go do them something, triple. So you see, oh. influencing triple. Are you all right? Are you grew up in a home where his mother and his father, everything, them not show him no love. Then every minute, hey boy, good this and hey boy, that and hey boy, this and. And in God, then you know, I meet all a, a man like Triple now. Eh? I say, well, I'm telling you, and me hungry, mm. and you buy him a plate of food and give him all the shoes, and you yeah, rock with him. But here, in a year, mind, you know, you yeah, plea for, for, for influence him, for God, or wrong, you know. But you see, you can get that little mm. love there from you. So when me look at it, you know, Triple, you know, you know, you see the baseline of me, I try to say Triple. Everybody will make it look about. like I don't. I say. just entertainment alone. Uh, all right. 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 All right. Nah, I say that. Yes, we yes, never yes, say that. Where I say, where I say, everything where I say is factual, my boss. 
everything we have said is yeah. factual. But you have to look upon it from you can't just look upon because the, the, the problem the problem we have is not with what you are saying. You know? The problem what you are, what, yeah. I, what I what I what I am having is with the end result yeah, yeah. with everybody looking at the end yeah. result and the fruit that come yeah, by that's, the tree. That's true.